It's a great day indeed to be sharing a podium with such a distinguished guest. Yesterday I was travelling to Jaintia Hills with another friend and I looked on both sides and I could see the stump of trees everywhere. Trees are being cut and nobody is accountable. Because it is very easy in Meghalaya to say that land belongs to the community. And when we say that, community is a very amorphous term. We don't know how to define community. So nobody is responsible, nobody is accountable. I would really love it if Mr. Jadav Payeng comes to Meghalaya and works together with some of us so that we can also green up our space. We started off as a very beautiful state, but today we have lost all that beauty. We are very ugly. There is black diamond everywhere, coal. And uh, after the National Green Tribunal stopped the mining of coal, we still have mining of limestone in some of the most diverse forests of our country, of our state. Uh, limestone mining is going on and there are hundreds of truckloads of limestone going out and there's no stopping it. We don't know what will happen to the environment after 30 years. Really, we don't know. So I'm glad to be here because I know that quite a number of students are from Meghalaya and I hope that when they leave this place, they will leave, they have already got the vision from here, so they will leave with a mission to serve their respective states, their respective environments. What is the purpose of social work after all? I think the most important purpose of social work is to improve outcomes. In whatever you do, improve outcomes and the quality of life of the most vulnerable. That is social work and therefore it requires a special commitment. You know, I was talking the other day to somebody about journalism. There is a young lady who is from Dibruga University and she came to Shillong to meet me and to ask what to profile in her research, what are the important indicators. And her research is on about women journalists. So I said to her, if you preface the word women in front of the word journalist, it doesn't work because a journalist is a journalist is a journalist. We have to be able to work across the scenario. We can't say we cannot go there because we are women. We will only work in a desk because we are women. In that case, there's no point joining the field of journalism. In the same way, if you've taken up social work, Please believe me that you will have to walk the extra mile and because you want to walk that extra mile, you have taken on this subject. It's not just because, you know, some of your friends have taken this subject or because you, you think it's glamorous or because you might find work in some agency in the United Nations or some very foreign uh, NGOs or something. Please remember that work starts where you are, at the family level, at your neighborhood level, at your society level. If it doesn't start from there, it is meaningless for you to go and work somewhere in Delhi or in Paris or in the US or wherever. That would mean that you've only chosen this field of study because you're looking for a good pay package. Pay is not the most important thing and you've heard him saying, you've heard the gentleman saying that he is not asking 
the state, for anything. He is asking what he can do for the state, like Abraham Lincoln. Ask not what the state can do for you, but ask what you can do for the state. So, the point about social work is again that you empower society to dream and to believe in itself. Today, when we look around us, there is a lot of hopelessness. And I must tell you that the number of people living below poverty line has grown exponentially, especially in a state like Meghalaya, where we just had the elections and where we saw that huge amounts of money were spent and were spent to buy the votes of the PPL families. And we can't fight that. It's very difficult to fight that. The only way to have a clean and informed election is to bring up the BPL families, you know, to elevate poverty. And one of the key learnings for you as social work students is to try and understand how do you bring people above the poverty line. So for me, social work helps the arc of the moral universe to bend towards justice. This is what Martin Luther King Jr. said. And to create hope where there is despair. It's, it's a very difficult challenge to create hope. Sometimes even we people who are in the field of journalism, we hear so much, we know so much, and we find it so difficult to process information. We don't know what to do with the information. But at the end of the day, we know that one of our tasks, although we are not literally social workers, is to advocate for those who are voiceless. So that's why we can collaborate. You know, between journalists and social workers, there has to be a very, very synchronized communication. There has to be synergy between these two key elements in a society. And uh, many people who are in the field of social work somehow do not have the skills for communication. And I must tell you that if you are in social work, you must also learn how to communicate. Because you may do a lot of good work, but if you can't communicate that, it doesn't work out. People have to know because people have to work with you. You can't work alone. Nobody can work alone. So. Be a voice for the marginalized, be a voice for the oppressed. Because voice is agency. Without voice, we have no agency. And coming to the university, I'm really, even without looking around, I'm very, very impressed, Mr. Huck, with all that I'm seeing. And I, I couldn't believe my eyes when I entered the campus. Because as you said, we've heard of not very happy stories of private universities in Meghalaya, but I'm so grateful that this university is doing so well because the role of a university is, you know, when you come to very simple terms, it means to ensure that there is less misery for the poor, less ignorance in schools, less bigotry in temples, in churches, in mosques. We are in a, a situation today where all the time, you know, we are positing between two binaries. You're either your left, left or your right. And it's a very difficult situation to live in, especially for the media. And large sections of the media have today been compromised. And we don't know how long we can maintain our freedom, but we just hope and pray that we can do it. And less sufferings in hospitals, less fraud in business, and less folly in politics. Actually, politics has become such a folly today. You just try and put up people of of credibility, people of stature, people of learning, they will not win elections. We have seen so many of them defeated this time. And we don't know what sort of assembly we will have now. It's an assembly of the affluent. And how can the affluent understand the needs of the poor? 
and that is your challenge as social work students. So I wish you all the very best and I hope that you will continue to be champions of human rights and social justice. Those are the two key you know, criteria of social work. Social justice for the vulnerable and human rights for all. So I wish you all the best and I hope that you continue to progress and bring laurels to yourself and to the university, to your society and to your country. Thank you.